Breaking developments that school shooting authorities racing to the scene in Arlington, Texas, outside Dallas. This time at Timberview High School, the gunfire ringing out early this morning. One of the victims shot a young English teacher. He is 25 years old. Tonight, he's in the hospital, a 15-year-old in the hospital, too, who had been in critical condition, now recovering in the ICU. Word of an active shooter reaching police just after 9 this morning, armed officers running inside. The suspect quickly identified as an 18-year-old student at the school, fleeing in a car, triggering a massive hunt and a warning that he was armed and dangerous. Students and teachers barricading themselves with doors, the chairs and desks and behind those doors, huddling there in the dark. Outside, a massive law enforcement response securing the school, getting the injured medical help. Law enforcement rushing to his home nearby. They did not find him there. Tonight, after searching for hours, the gunman turning himself in. And what we've now learned, ABC's Marcus Moore leading us off here from Texas tonight. Tonight, a shooting at this Arlington, Texas high school, leaving four people hurt. This is not a random act of violence. This is not somebody attacking our schools. Officials saying it all started around 915 this morning. Authorities now reviewing videos posted to social media appearing to show a fight. We believe right now preliminary that it was a student that got into a fight and drew a weapon. I hear it. Like six shots, six, seven shots back to back. This is something you all have done drills on. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, we do drills on it all the time. So we knew what to do once we heard lockdown. Because usually they say, usually they let us know it's a drill. But they say lockdown, lockdown. So we knew it was in our drill. Police identifying the suspect as 18-year-old Timothy George Simpkins, a Timberview High School student who turned himself in after an hours-long manhunt. Students sheltering in place. Teacher Dale Topham was just down the hall with his students, and together they barricaded the door. When they realized it was shooting. There was no hesitation, no confusion, no chaos. They just immediately sprang into action. One 25-year-old teacher and three teenage students were wounded during the shooting, three of them taken to the hospital and expected to be okay. As an all-out manhunt for Simpkins began, and law enforcement swarming his house with guns drawn, but he wasn't there. Officials out with a warning. This person is considered to be armed and dangerous. As the lockdown was lifted at the high school, a steady stream of students walking out in a single file. And a now familiar scene tonight. Worried parents waiting to be reunited with their children. This is the fifth school shooting in the past week. This mom saying that she and her son had discussed school shootings and prepared for this day. To know that the shooting was right next to his class, Bullets fly everywhere. And Marcus Moore with us tonight from outside that Arlington High School. And Marcus, no word on, on a motive yet? David, no word from authorities on a motive, but they say a possible weapon, a 45 caliber handgun, was found in the street about two miles from here. And Simpkins has been charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and he's expected to go before a judge tonight. David. Marcus Moore leading us off tonight from Arlington. Marcus. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.